Hey guys, Metabo HPT just released a brand new cordless trim router. It follows on the footsteps of that larger plunge base router that we reviewed last month. Um, it's, it's super impressive to note that Metabo HPT is the only tool company, at least that I'm aware of, that allows you to power all of your cordless tools three different ways. So you can use their standard lightweight 18 volt battery. You can use their multi-volt battery, which is 18 volt, 36 volt. And then obviously you can plug it into their AC power adapter cord. The thing has like a brick on it, but it's, it, you can plug it in and use it. As long as you, as, as you have one adapter cord, as a carpenter, you'll never run out of worry about dead batteries at the end of the day. You just plug it in. It's simple, cheap insurance and something that other tool companies have not done so far. Um, all right, let's talk about this router a little bit. Some of the notable features are it's got a variable speed dial. It allows you to go from 10,000 to 30,000 um, RPMs. It accepts quarter inch and three eighths inch collet bits, soft start motor, quick brake, rack and pinion adjustments, really nice adjustments. And it weighs 2.5 pounds with two LED lights on the base, the work base. Um, you do notice that two and a half pounds when you're using it, the brushless router, it's lightweight and it's pretty compact as well. Um, I ended up using it with a larger battery, but you can absolutely power this thing on a 1.5 amp hour battery and bring that weight way down. Um, there is a two power uh, power safety switch on this. So the first power button turns the power onto the tool. The second switch button allows the router to turn on. And there's a 10 second timeout between the two pushes uh, for safety. The power button to me felt thin, um, not really that high quality. Maybe it is, but it just feels kind of cheesy a little bit. I would prefer a much more robust, robust switch on that, especially for a pro router. Um, like I said, it comes with a quarter inch, three eighths inch collet inserts, and I can see those collet inserts getting lost. Um, I would have rather have seen uh, HPT offer a, a, a solid collet. Um, it comes with a ball bearing trimmer guide, a straight guide, a template, a dust collection port, and a bit changing wrench. Um, I use that straight guide, loved it. It adjusts well. I did some uh, rabbits with it. It's really a nice accessory. Um, the router itself has plenty of power. I used it to plow through mahogany. I was doing some uh, grab rails for a deck we're building. And I also used it on some PVC for a half round window surround I built. Um, it easily plows through the, uh, the, the mahogany. It was very powerful. Like all trim routers that I've used, um, I had to remove the sub base on the uh, Metabo HVT in order to get my round over bit to fit. The, uh, the square sub base actually comes off with four screws and there's a sub base that allows the bit to, the tool to still be able to use. I really like that. Um, while I was routing, I accidentally turned the router off with my hand placement. It happened twice. This is probably due to maybe a learning curve of me gripping the tool, but a recessed switch would absolutely solve that issue. Um, the router has two very bright LED lights. It illuminates the work area really nice. Um, and the only improvements that I would offer Metabo HPT is that um, I usually, when I use a router like this, I let the dust fly, but I know a lot of you guys don't. When I used the clear plastic dust shroud, it indexes into the base and then it screws on with a thumb screw. I connected a hose to it, had to tape it on, wouldn't fit. Um, and the weight of the, the pull on the hose disconnected the, the the shroud happened a bunch of times. Um, I even put a um, uh, a washer on the thumb screw to add more pressure, and it still happened. Um, could not really use the router without having my hand on it to hold it. So Metabo HPT needs to make a much stronger connection on that dust port. Uh, as far as cost goes, this multi-volt router system uh, will sell as a bare tool for about 150 bucks. Lowe's, Menards, and selected uh, independent dealers like Ohio Power Tools online. Um, as far as my overall impression, the Metabo HPT trim router has the power to handle pro applications. Um, I use it to make a window sills with it, mahogany handrails, chamfers in PVC, rabbits and pine boards. Uh, it's compact, it's powerful, it comes with some pretty good accessories, really great uh, straight edge, and it's priced right. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell right there. I'm Rob Robillard. We'll see you next time here at Toolbox Buzz.